Hello friends, welcome to the ASP.NET Code tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we will see what is MVC pattern in .NET Core and we will see like what is the folder structure for ASP.NET Core project. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen like how to create our first ASP.NET Core project using the Visual Studio 2019 and we have seen like what all are the tools and like framework we require to create a ASP.NET Core project. So before proceeding with this tutorial, I recommend you please watch previous tutorial of this tutorial series. So let's understand like what is MVC. So basically MVC, the abbreviation of the MVC is a model view controller. And generally this MVC is a design pattern. Like most of the people say it's a framework, but basically it is a design pattern. It's not not a, any other programming language because this MVC we, uh, like it's kind of a uh, like a design pattern which contains the model view and the controller and we can use the design pattern in any other language like we can use it uh, with the PHP and uh, like uh, we can use it with the .NET and any other language because it is a kind of a pattern where we uh, uh, like we design our application or uh, like um, our website in that manner so in mvc is basically a design pattern and the uh, this mvc model view or controller is the main component because all these things is uh, designed under uh, like in inside this model view and the controller so basically like what is the role of the mvc or we can say what is the role of these model view and the controller so model is basically it is a responsible for data for a specific application in the sense like this model is basically inside this a model uh, folder we design uh, like the classes which contain the properties and those property talk with the like the data or the uh, like database data it talk to those and view is basically a represent the visualization of the data that model contains in the sense like whatever we are showing as a ui all those ui it design under this view so view is basically a representation or uh, the visualization and the controller act on both model and the view so basically like the communication between the view and the model it's uh, handled by the controller and uh, like this control the data flow into the model object and update the view whenever the data changes in the sense like suppose i want to update some value uh, to the database or i want to get the data from the database then all these operation is happen through controller because this controller is talk with the view and the model so that is the role of the controller now let's understand how the workflow work for the MVC. So in this picture, you can see like there are some boxes for the view model and the controller and with the arrow, we can see like this view can talk with the controller and even controller can talk with the view. So this is a bi-directional like both the side um, the talk can happen. But with the model, like one direction is there and with the view and the model, there is only a one direction. So this is the basically a workflow of the MVC. We can say like uh, how this bidirectional is working with within the view and the controller like we can update the value like we can call the controller from the view and even we can call this view from the controller so that's why this is a bidirectional and the next is like what is the advantage of mvc and the advantage like development of the application become fast because everything is a structural way we have and it is very easy to handle the project if it grow day by day because everything it is in a structural way easy for multiple developer to collaborate and work together because like suppose one developer is working on the ui thing so they can work with the view and one person is working with the database then they can take care of the model so multiple developer uh, can work together on the same project and it is very easier to update the application since um, like there are so many folders like uh, model view control there are different folder so it's very easy to update the application and it is easy to 
डीबक एज वी हैव मल्टीपल लेवल प्रॉपर्टी सॉरी प्रॉपरली रिटर्न इन द एप्लीकेशन सो दीज आर द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ द एम वी सी नाउ वॉट ऑल आर द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ द एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर सो इट इज हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड द एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर एंड मस्ट हैव स्ट्रिक्ट रूल ऑन द मेथड्स देर इज नॉट मच इन द डिसएडवांटेज पार्ट ऑफ द आर्किटेक्चर एंड द डिसएडवांटेज आर नॉट सो यूज एंड इट्स वेरी ईजी टू इग्नोर इन कंपेरिजन विद ऑल द बेनिफिट वी गेट सो दैट इज द थिंग विद द लाइक एम वी सी आर्किटेक्चर लाइक मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स लाइक एम वी सी इ गिव द बेनिफिट टू हैंडल द प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज इट लाइक मल्टीपल डेवलपर कैन वर्क ऑन अ सिंगल प्रोजेक्ट एंड इट इज वेरी ईजी टू अपडेट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दिस इज बेसिक अबाउट द एम वी सी लाइक वॉट इज द एम वी सी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एम वी सी नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड लाइक हाउ द फोल्डर स्ट्रक्चर वर्क फॉर द एस पी डॉट नेट कोर्स सो इन द प्रीवियस टूटोरियल वी हैव क्रिएटेड टू एप्लीकेशन वन विद द बेसिक लाइक विदाउट द एस पी डॉट नेट मॉडल एंड अनादर लाइक वी हैव क्रिएटेड एप्लीकेशन विद द एम वी सी मॉडल सो द डिफरेंस यू कैन सी लाइक हेयर दिस एप्लीकेशन वी क्रिएटेड विद द एम वी सी लाइक पैटर्न सो हेयर वी गॉट लाइक कंट्रोलर मॉडल इन द व्यू फोल्डर बट वेन वी क्रिएटेड दिस एप्लीकेशन विद द एम टी देन वी कैन सी हेयर लाइक वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी दोज फोल्डर बट द कॉमन थिंग्स वॉट वी आर गेटिंग वी आर गेटिंग एप सेटिंग डॉट जेसन प्रोग्राम इन स्टार्टअप सेम फाइल वी आर गेटिंग एप सेटिंग प्रोग्राम इन द स्टार्टअप सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट फाइल फॉर द एस पी डॉट नेट कोड एंड लाइक वी कैन सी इन द प्रोग्राम फाइल देर इज ए फोल्डर लाइक द मेन फंक्शन इज देयर एंड फ्रॉम दिस मेन वी आर कॉलिंग क्रिएट होस्ट बिल्डर सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट फाइल दैट इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर दिस लाइक एस पी डॉट नेट कोर एप्लीकेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स लाइक एप सेटिंग स्टार्टअप डॉट सी एस एंड प्रोग्राम डॉट सी एस ऑल दीज थ्री फाइल्स वी विल टॉक इन द कमिंग टूटोरियल इन दिस टूटोरियल वॉट वी विल टॉक वी विल टॉक दीज फोल्डर कॉल्ड कंट्रोलर मॉडल एंड व्यू सो इन द मॉडल लाइक इन ए बिट बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वॉट इज द मॉडल सो इट इज यूज टू गेट द डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटाबेस सो एज आई एक्सप्लेन लाइक इट कंटेन द प्रॉपर्टीज सो वी कैन सी लाइक सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड हेयर लाइक रिक्वेस्ट आई डी शो रिक्वेस्ट आई डी लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट एनी अदर आई डी वॉट यू कैन राइट प्रॉप दिस इज द शॉर्टकट लाइक वेन यू विल राइट प्रॉप एंड इफ यू विल डबल टैप ऑन दिस इट विल क्रिएट अ प्रॉपर्टी यू कैन गिव एनी डेटा टाइप एंड कैन गिव द प्रॉपर्टी नेम सो इट इज यू टू टॉक द डेटा with the database and if you want to keep any data annotation on this one like any data annotation you can keep like required so if i will write the required here then we have to add the namespace called uh, data annotation and for that like we have to add the dependency respective to that so the property give the benefit uh, basically to like uh, like property give the benefit to um, make the that field as a mandatory field or any other validation if you want to keep we can keep so um, for this one like we have to add the namespace uh, called the data annotation and based on that like we have to add the dependency the respective dependency we have to add so this is the advantage of the model and the next is like controller so in this controller like here default controller is there so in the controller is basically inherited from the controller class and here we can see like there are different type of the controller we have like home controller like there is a controller name home controller and the action method like whatever the method you are looking here these are the action method called index privacy and error these are the action method and those are returning like i action result and these i action result basically is a interface and based on that like it is returning the like this interface it is returning and under this like if you will go into the view so this view is basically like if you what it return it return the view result and this view result is basically inherited from the action result i action result and when you will go under this i action result we can see like uh, whatever it is like returning from here 
we can see if you want to write instead of this i reaction result you can write view result because this view comes under this uh, like if this view comes under this view result so we can directly like write the view result also here so this is the controller and as i explained like this controller is used to talk between the model and the view uh, and now you want to see like what is the view either you can right click on this and go to the view so once i will click on this go to the view what it will do if the view is created it will take to that view and the basically here the um, like extension for this view is like dot cs html because it is like this project is made into the c sharp that's why it is showing it as a dot cs html if it is made into the vb.net then it would be indicating like dot vb uh, ch html so you can see all these view which is created under this view and the respective controller name like here we have controller name like home so under this home you can see there is a uh, like view will be under this home folder only so we can see the index whatever the action method like uh, if i will go home controller the action method whatever we are having here it will create with the same name only it will create the view so this controller is used to communicate between the model and the view and this view is basically connect like is having this detail and it will show this data now suppose i want to create another controller so how we can create right click on this add and from here we can create the controller and like here if i want to create the empty controller then we can create otherwise here it is showing you want to create the controller with the read write action method so it is means action if you are using entity framework we can do if you want to create the api based on that we can create and these all three are for the api like we can create the api because this api and the like controller both are inherited from the same class so i'm going to create an empty controller method once i click or add button what it will do it will take uh, us to the like next page and from here like what kind of the field you want to add and based on that we can add it so what i will take a uh, here I will add a different controller name and the controller name I will take as a test controller so once I will click on this test controller so what it will do it will create a another controller class and remember like the controller should be append here then only it will take as a controller only and it will be inherited from the controller now currently for this test controller like we don't have any view as of now and if i will right click on this one and go to the view it will not take us because and it is saying like unable to find a matching view because still we didn't create any view so if you want to create the view what i will do i will click on this add view and from here it will ask like razor view empty or normal razor view so if i will click on this razor view empty and if i will click on add and it will take the index name like currently the action method is the index and similar it should be the name should be similar in a bit we will see like if i will change the name it will say like i'm uh, it is not able to find that view so the name of the action method like this the name of this action method should match with this view so once i will click on this one what it will do it will like here so like let just save this one first and here like what it if i will go to the view it is still saying like it is not finding because it not created any like here let me refresh this one like still we didn't get any folder here that's why it is saying like it is not uh, going to that particular view and showing the error so let's add view and let's this razor view i'm going to add and once i will click here and it is asking like do you want to use the layout page view name what view name because it should match with this and the template if you want to take so i'm not going to take anything i want i'm going to take everything default and if i will click on this one so what it will do like we are getting one error like there was an error running on the selected code generator unable to load the service index for the source 
so we are not able to get there is some problem with the NuGet package manager so like what we can do here like once we when we we'll click on this add so what it will do it will create a one view so basically th uh, this will be the way of uh, creating the like a uh, view or action method or we can say the controller into the uh, like mvc folder structure so that's it for for this mvc like what is the mvc and in the coming tutorial like what we will see the important file called appchatting.json program and uh, like startup all these three files majorly we will see in the coming tutorial so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment